Not yet. You're not supposed to come on I'm ready. Yet. I'm it's ready. August 21st. We are gearing today. up for the great total <laughs> solar eclipse of the sun. I guess that's repetitive. It's not a total eclipse of the heart. That's a whole other story. Uh, but those who've seen a total eclipse say it is nearly indescribable. But if you're not directly in its path, which is called the path of totality, there is still a whole lot to look forward to. And joining us this morning is former NASA astronaut Michael Massimino. Good morning, Michael. Great good to morning. Have you here. Thanks for having me. Hey, good great to, see great you to have you again, Mike. It's all happening August 21st. It's uh, two weeks from Monday, basically. And you're going to be helping with our coverage here on ABC News, also mm -hmm. hosting the Great American Eclipse on the Science Channel. Uh, yeah. As you know, there are cities like Charleston, Nashville, uh, St. Louis, Kansas City, sort of, mm -hmm. and Salem, Morgan, all in the path. Yeah. But what if you're not in that path? Most of us won't be. What are you going to say? Right. Well, you're still going to see something. You'll see a partial eclipse. And it's going to be, it's still going to be cool. You'll see something and it'll be cool. So if you're in that band, if you're lucky enough to be in that band that, at that time during that day, mm -hmm. you'll see the sun get totally blocked out. But if you get away from that band, what you're going to see in the sky is it's going to kind of look like a cookie with a bite taken out of it. Okay, and the further you get away, the smaller that, that bite will be. But yeah. you'll see, you'll definitely see something. My kids were looking out the window last night asking about it. We were looking at the graphic of the path, and they were, Mom, we're so bummed out we can't be there. What are we going to see? So what are we going to see here at New It's York? still going to be cool. You'll get about 70% uh, coverage of the sun, and about 245 in the afternoon will be the prime time to look up. 245. So, yeah. uh, so New York's a, a spot where you'll see it. How about yeah. uh, Los Angeles? Los Angeles as well, 62% at about 10.20 local time in, in, in L.A. Let's go to the Midwest, my favorite mm -hmm. spot in America, the Midwest. Uh, let's pick Cleveland. Cleveland, a little bit better, 80% at about 2.30. Do you think LeBron will be there to see it? Or no. It um, have, if you're, you're gonna, well, someone's gonna, you can't avoid this. Yes. And, and, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of being one with the universe. It's a we reminder have, of where we are. We'll, you, we'll need clear skies, I should say that, so yeah, watch yeah, us yeah, and your yeah, local weather guys for you. that. Yeah. Yes, that's really imperative, too. But also imperative, you have to watch responsibly, especially if you're going to see the partial eclipse, yeah. right? And you need to, there are special glasses, uh, and there are a lot of counterfeits out there, so beware. I know you guys are yeah. advocating and endorsing four different companies, but yeah. what should we know about? Yeah, what? be really careful about it, because looking at the sun is not a good idea. It can cause uh, damage to your eyes, and you're going to want to look up. And you mentioned in the partial, especially in the partial areas, when it gets totally covered, then you can actually take these glasses off. But that's only when it's totally covered it's safe to do that. So for most, most everybody else, and at those times when it's not totally covered, you're going to want to look at it, but you're going to want to look at it with the right protection. So these are an example. What look about those dark, cardboard? You can't see anything. What? Right, I mean, you put these oh, things yeah, on, it gets right, really, really these dark. Bright lights. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you can, I can, can even make faces at you and you won't even know. Yeah. Can we make those cardboard boxes or anything? You can do that, yeah. So the, uh, you can get glasses like this and you can find out about these things on uh, NASA.gov or AAS, which is the American Astronomical Society.org. You can find out more about these types of glasses and where to get them. But you can make the cardboard, <laughs> the cardboard That's box. That There's That's instructions on how to do that too. You can look at those websites. Put a pinhole in it, and you put a white piece of paper, and you can look through there and, and, and see the eclipse. But if you can get some of these glasses, do that. Get outside and enjoy this. This is a really a once in a lifetime opportunity here in the United States. It's U.S. only. It's going to affect yep. every part of our country, uh, and it's just a wonderful reminder of where we are. You know, we're on a planet. We're on our own little spaceship in the universe. Moving yeah. around with all these other objects, we tend to forget that this is going to be a reminder. And there's another one in 2024, too. So there's another one coming up in 2024. Michael, we thank you very much.